So let's get into next Nicholas Anderson from Katy, Texas. Nicholas Anderson has one of the the weirdest ranking profiles that I've seen. And and here's what I mean. Rivals has him as a 5.5 star receiver. 3 star. 5.5 means if he drops down a point to 5.4, he becomes a 2 star. I think that's way too low for him. Uh, 247 Sports has him as a, a, a middle of the road 3 star player as well. And ESPN has him as the number 61 player in the entire country. So there's this huge gap in how people perceive Nicholas Anderson. I don't think he's, I think he's to me a lot. I think he's a, you know, if if I were to use the rivals rankings, I'd probably have him as a a three star 5.7 guy or like a low four star guy. So he's a three and a half star for me. That's kind of that low four star good player, but not a top 250 guy, more of a top 300 to 350 guy in most classes. And he's a good football player, but he's just not, to me, he's not a guy that you look at and say, hey, you're closing the gap on these programs because you have Nicholas Anderson. So let's dive into the, some film. And I think what you're going to see here from Nicholas is a, is a long kid, you know, 6'3", skinny. He's smooth. He's fluid. But what I like about him, and you can see it right off the top, is, is he knows how to play football. You know, he's a guy that uh, he's a good route runner. He tracks the ball well. I just the thing about him is that he's just not a real dynamic athlete, and he's not as dynamic at some of these things. Like his game is very similar to Tobias Merriweather, but I think Tobias is bigger, and I think Tobias is more dynamic. But Nicholas Anderson's a, a quality football player, and and if 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 a Morian Walker wasn't in the class, and Notre Dame wanted to take Nicholas Anderson, I'd have no problem with that. I think he's a good football player, but to me, when I look at him, I say. He's a lot like the guys that Notre Dame has had in the past where you say, well, this isn't the kind of guy that you're beating those teams with. And that's the kind of guy Notre Dame supposedly keeps getting. And that's what I see from Nicholas Anderson. This is a really nice route. This is what I talk about how smooth he is, right? And just look how effortlessly, very little wasted motion getting to that in cut. Doesn't have to really break himself. This is a, this is a speed in cut, not a level, but he levels off, finds the ball. Really smooth, fluid athlete. Good catch radius. I really like his catch radius. You can see how long his arms are right there. So you can see it right there at the snap. He's got really long arms. He's He knows how to catch the ball. Gives his quarterback a real nice catch radius. Tracks the deep ball. This is what I talk about. Just watch. He doesn't. There's no slowing down when he turns back to the ball. I really like that about him. Accelerates through the look back. He's got really good field awareness. He can stay in bounds on it. This is a this is a good football player. I just don't think he's a guy that is is taking you to the next level type of football player. And I think the, the fact that I don't you know offer lists don't mean everything to me, but but I think there's a reason that a lot of the bigger schools have are not going after him because I just I don't see a dynamic type of guy but as you see there it's a good route it's a really nice pivot route this kid knows how to play football good size and see there you just you don't see a lot of burst there like I love on this particular play I love the catch I love the concentration and focus right the field awareness but there's just there's no burst here right there's no burst there. So out of that double move, there's just not that burst and acceleration that, that okay, so like that's a great play, but is that going to work against Bama? Is that going to work against Clemson? I just, you know, I don't I don't see that. This right here is a really good route from him. This is a kid that's a smart football player. It's a really nice route, gets inside, gets vertical. Now, this is the thing I like too is he has to work inside, but he leans back out so he can keep that separation before he works back inside. I, I really like that. Again, this is a good football player. Just not a guy that, to me, I view as a dynamic player. Catches the ball well, good catch radius. There's a lot of things you're going to like. And I know some people like him a lot more than I have. We've had some conversations here. There's some other people in this this chat, I believe, that like Nicholas more than I do. And I, I get it. He's a good football player. I can't help but thinking I'm watching Nebraska film, though, with those uniforms. They just look a lot like Nebraska film. White shirts, white helmets, red pants. It's a nice play right there. Now, I'm curious to see what Nicholas does as a a senior. I've seen some workout videos from him where he shows me a little bit more quickness than I see on film. But even then, I I just I don't see dynamic player. But he's definitely a guy that I would, if I was Notre Dame, I'd want to get him on campus this summer. I would love to see him work out, actually. I'd really want to see his speed and, and, and such up close and personal. 
He's a quality football player. Now, when it comes to recruiting, Nicholas is going to be at Notre Dame on June 18th to 20th. I think that I'm I'm curious to see how that visit goes. He's got some other visits set up. He's been to, he went to Missouri for a spring game. He is going to USC June 11th to 13th. He's going to Oregon June 25th to 27th, and he's also talked about visiting California uh, and, and Arkansas or other schools. I've I've seen him say he's going to visit. He was recently offered by Texas A&M. So I'm curious to see how that, if that might shake up his recruitment at all. Obviously, being from Texas, I'm curious to see if the Aggies can can shake things up a little bit with him. But like I said, this is a good, this is a good quality football player. And then we're gonna move on. But I just, you know, I don't see top hundred player right here. I don't see top two hundred player right here. I see a really quality football player. That if he's your number three receiver, you feel pretty good about where you are. So that's Nicholas Anderson.